I'm Jude, and this is my Cool Climate Productive Garden. Over the last couple of years, I've taken over the family backyard to grow heaps of fruit and veggies, enough to feed us all and share around. I started off with just a single row of snow peas, but now I've got six veg which are pumping out food. The area that I first started off with is now looking pretty bad. I made the beginner's mistake of planting straight into the soil, and I didn't know about adding extra nutrients and how important soil is. The weeds don't seem to mind it here, but nothing else really grows that well. Today, I'm gonna to rebuild it from scratch, using a no-dig method of building layers of nutrients that you can plant straight into. You can grow anywhere, as long as you've got the magic ingredients. Six hours a day of sun, some organic materials, some cardboard, water, and obviously some hard work. First thing I'm gonna do is get rid of these weeds. You certainly don't need to poison them, and you don't even need to pull them out. I am gonna kill them. But first, I'm gonna be really nice to them. Trim the weeds back, and then leave them where they are. Then I'm gonna give them their last meal by adding some organic fertilizer. You can use whatever manure you can get hold of. I'm using pelletized chicken manure. Then give your weeds a final drink of water. Feeding them might seem a bit weird, but by giving them heaps of nutrients and then smothering them, they'll die even faster. Plants need light to live, but this cardboard is thick enough that it'll block the light completely out. The weeds will try and have a big growth spurt, but without any sunlight, they'll die and break down, which will add nutrients back into the soil. Big boxes like this are great. You can get them from bike or furniture stores, but whatever you've got works. Make sure you really overlap the different pieces. You don't want to allow any gaps to let the light through. Then, wet the cardboard. This will help it break down and turn into compost. Just try to remove any sticky tape before you bury it. While those weeds are dying and the cardboard's breaking down, you can get on with growing straight away. But first, I'm gonna have to add a few more layers. This is some straw from the guinea pig pen and it's been aged for a few weeks. I'm also adding some mushroom compost. It's a waste product from commercial mushroom growing, but you can buy it from any landscape store. This will form the deepest layer. You can throw in whatever organic materials you've got lying around. The more diverse you mix, the more diverse the microorganisms living in your soil. Finish the garden bed by covering it with straw then wet it down again. I'm excited to have this whole new garden bed to grow in. And as all those layers of organic material break down, the soil and my veggies are gonna keep on getting better and better. This is ready to plant straight into. I've been wanting to increase my lettuce production and this spot is perfect because it's so full of nutrients. So next time, I'll show you how to have a never ending supply of salad.